VMware vSphere and EMC storage have always been simple, efficient, and incredibly integrated. With the latest generation of our vCenter plugins, we've also enabled self-service capabilities for VMware administrators on every EMC platform, on all protocols, and every scale. And they can do it in their natural context, which is vCenter. Let's take a look at the first set of these capabilities. The EMC Virtual Storage Integrator, or VSI, enables the VMware administrator to authenticate and connect to all sorts of EMC storage arrays, regardless of scale or protocol. For example, here you can see they could have EMC Symmetrics arrays, EMC Clarion arrays, and also EMC Solera providing NFS data stores. What's the purpose of this extra visibility? It's to make the VMware administrator's life a little bit easier. Normally, it's very difficult to find the correlation between data stores, LUNs, targets, virtual machines, and storage. The EMC Storage tab added here makes that very simple. For example, this VMFS data store, you can see that it's stored on this individual EMC Symmetrics array. It's this device. It's being replicated via SRDF this way. It's protected via RAID this way. And you can see details about virtual provisioning and multipathing. Likewise, you can see the same thing for an EMC Clarion, regardless of protocol. Um, and you can also see NFS data stores provided by an EMC Solera. So normally you just see the IP address and the mount point, but here you can see about how it's actually being consumed on the back end, as well as all sorts of advanced details about advanced features that are being leveraged on the EMC Solera. All right, improved visibility is fantastic, and it's a great way to help accelerate solving problems. But wouldn't it be great if you could simply and efficiently directly provision inside the natural GUI and context for a VMware administrator? Let's take a look at what we can do in this latest generation of our vCenter plugins. So, moving to an EMC Clarion as an example, what we're going to do here is we're going to quickly, in just a few clicks, create an entirely new data store and present it to the entire cluster. We've identified the vSphere cluster we're going to use. We're going to give the data store a name. We're going to specify its size. And then we're going to also identify what its storage pool is. By putting it in a thin pool, it'll automatically be thinly provisioned. As soon as we hit the Execute button, every single step that's required to make this visible and accessible to every single member of the entire vSphere cluster is completely automated. So for example, creating the data store on the actual back end of the array, presenting it up to the hosts, rescanning for new devices, creating the VMFS data store, all of those individual steps are done completely automatically in a single step. The VMware administrator also has not only the capability to create data stores, but also delete them. Simple and easy. We just showed how easy it is to create VMFS data stores, regardless of whether it's iSCSI, Fiber Channel, or FCOE, but what if you'd like to use some NFS data stores? On EMC's unified platform, the EMC Solera, you have the choice of both, Block and NAS. And if you use them both, you get to leverage the strengths of both VMFS and NFS at the same time. You can see here, it's as simple as clicking on this provision storage button directly within vCenter, at which point you're presented with this dialog. What we're going to do is we're going to simply select the Solera that we're going to use. We're then going to identify the interfaces at which we will export the NFS interfaces. We're going to create a new NFS export out of one of these pools. These pools can exist on different tiers. And then we're going to identify the initial and maximum capacity because it's going to be virtually or thin provisioned. Advanced settings for things like ESX and Solera timeouts are all set automatically, and you can also customize them. Now, just like we saw earlier with VMFS using EMC SAN platform capabilities, it'll automatically go out and configure NAS capabilities on the EMC platform, and then present those NFS data stores and properly configure them on the entire cluster. Normally, this would involve many steps that are error-prone and uh, 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 lots of opportunity for the VMware administrator to make errors. We've made things dramatically simpler, and if we take a look at the cluster, you can see here that this NFS data store is appearing to every single one of the nodes in the cluster, including, including those that are in maintenance mode. So we've just shown how easy it is to do a single-click provisioning task, whether it's VMFS on any block protocol and NFS using EMC storage platforms. But wouldn't it be great if you could leverage hardware acceleration on the array level for all sorts of tasks, for example, VMware deployment, and in doing so, make huge capacity savings up front. EMC has the capability from within vCenter to create snapshots at the data store level on VMFS data stores. But on NFS data stores, we have the capability to do it at the virtual machine layer. What we're doing here is we're leveraging the EMC Solera's capabilities of creating file level snapshots to hardware accelerate deploying VMs. Here I'm creating 50 virtual machines, although that could be a very large number, could be hundreds. 
and I'm giving a name, there'll all be variations of this name, and you could apply a customization specification. Now, why would you do this? Well, first of all, it's a lot faster. So, as you can see here, the VMs are starting to deploy at the rate of one every few seconds. This is actually starting with a base VM that's 40 gigs in size. As any VMware administrator knows, normally cloning a 40 gig VM would take a lot longer than you're seeing here. The second thing is that since they're all array-based pointer snapshots, they're actually consuming zero space. So we're speeding up operations and we're also being more efficient at the same time. Simple and efficient. And if we come back after a few seconds, you can see that we've created 50 of them and they're automatically distributed across the nodes in the ESX cluster. There are many other EMC array efficiency technologies exposed in the vCenter. For example, wouldn't it be great if you could compress an entire data store or even an individual VM for further capacity savings? As an example, on both VMFS data stores as well as NFS data stores, EMC can have the capability to compress the data store. On NFS, you can also do it at the VM level. And if we take a look at the properties of this VM, you can see that on top of it being thinly provisioned, I've saved almost an additional 30% of the capacity by compressing it. So we demonstrated simplicity, we demonstrated efficiency. But as customers move from IT usage of vSphere to mission critical VMware use, and they're at VMAX level degrees of scale, SLAs and consolidation, we heard an additional request. The request to be able to create fenced off pools with specific SLAs provided by the storage team that are pools in which the VMware team can operate. In this example, the storage team has provisioned three pools of storage that are virtually provisioned to the VMware team. The VMware team subsequently can use the EMC virtual storage integrator to assign allocations at the cluster, the ESX host, VM, or even DRS resource pool level. Here what we're going to do is we're just going to consume all of the pool that has been assigned to the VMware team. What this enables at these large scale environments where customers are moving away from test and dev use of VMware into mission critical use of VMware, particularly if they're doing it on very consolidated arrays like an EMC VMAX, the capability to be able to have their cake and eat it too. The storage team has the ability to isolate, to be able to ensure that VMware doesn't affect adjacent workloads, and to be able to deliver SLAs and costs, and the VMware team gets what they need, which is the ability to dynamically self-service and self-provision their own environment. Now if EMC stopped there with vCenter plugins, integrating and simplifying things for the VMware administrator, that'd be great but it'd be half the answer. In many of our customers there's both VMware administrators and storage administrators and storage administrators need to have VM level access and visibility as well and they need to have it in their natural context. EMC delivered this capability last year on our mid-range platforms and we've extended this capability in our new unified management interface, Unisphere, which operates for both our mid-range block and mid-range NAS use cases. The platform directly integrates into the vCenter APIs and ESX hosts automatically register with EMC platforms. Here you can see that this ESX vSphere host that's automatically registered contains these virtual machines. So we're expanding the world of the storage administrator, normally just thinking about hosts, file systems, and LUNs, to now understand the relationships of how those objects tie to virtual machines. Here, you can see that that VM is being hosted on this data store, and you can see that it's actually consuming these virtual disk files on that data store, consuming that particular uh, disk capacity as shown. Normally, in most platforms, this is something that you just simply don't see as the storage administrator. This is because EMC's mid-range platforms have integrated with the vCenter APIs. What we've seen in this demonstration is that VMware vSphere and EMC storage is a perfect match. Simplicity, efficiency, and integration, sure, but with the latest generation of our vCenter plugins, we've also added self-service capability for VMware administrators, and we've done it on every EMC platform. We've done it for VMFS and NFS use cases on every protocol, and we've done it at every scale from the smallest to the largest.